Who are you? Uh, my name is Tashaya Kyles. I'm a senior finance major from Chicago. Um, I'm also a creative, um, a stylist, designer, really embedded in the fashion industry. Um, so yeah, it's just for me. How did you first get into fashion? Um, I've always been into fashion, just a little bit, especially in high school. Like I knew how to dress, if you will, but it was very like, hmm. It wasn't as intricate as it is now or as developed, so I've always been into it, but then by being emerged into the Howard University culture, it was like fashion is big here. So yeah, then sure. by participating in Models of the Mecca as well, I was just able to really dive into it a little more. And you're president of Models of the Mecca, correct? Yes. So how did you get started with that process? Um, Actually, after um, being a member in the class five, I kind of took a break from Models of the Mecca, if you will just for like a few months. And then we had a first ever uh, Models of Omega fashion show where it would be all members of the organization regardless of what class you're in. Usually the shows that we do, just kind of like we bring in a new class, but the previous classes aren't involved. So after um, being the head of styling for that, which is kind of like, I kind of want to get back into it. Like I have visions for the organization, I have plans. So why not just take that leap of faith and apply? And I was able to get it. And with Models of the Mecca, have you inserted your own pieces that you create into places like that? What do you mean? Uh, I'm, I guess more along the lines like the models. Are you able to, when you guys put on like runway shows, are you able to like apply pumpkin creations to the models oh. for them to like walk down mm -hmm. um, walk fashion shows with or anything like that? Yeah, I definitely have. That's actually where it started. Like the Models of America was my first um, introduction to runaway fashion or like what the fashion industry really is by having that whole team of like creative directors, photographers, models, all of that. So as a designer and as a stylist, I was able to like choose a list of models I wanted to work with. And I was like, I have full control over them. So whether it be me uh, shopping for uh, items and styling them or designing pieces so it would be a mixture for sure like of me uh, outsourcing items and then producing things myself okay and how did um pumpkin creations come about again i think it just came from me realizing like with my environment at howard at howard and in models of the mecca where i was like this is something i'm good at and i've learned a while back that like you should find what you're good at and really just take off with that like that's the best way to maintain I guess both happiness and wealth like just really embark on what you're good at so by realizing that fashion was something that I'm gifted with I'm like I need to just make it a brand and how do you pretty much like fashion is a big world mm -hmm. it's, it's still growing especially with Howard it seems like everybody has like a fashion brand yeah so <laughs> how do you I guess find your individuality my biggest thing for sure is um, one sustainability and also hand making my own pieces. Like these pants here are actually I created myself. It has like a, you probably can't see it much in the camera now, but it has like a um, what is it like a leather kind of shorts to it, and then there's uh, the green pants, and I layered it with this little uh, piece of fabric and then a little belt that I made from some uh, scrap denim. So um, I think by having that aspect to it, like reuse, reusing um, previous materials, or excuse me, reusing, um, repurposing materials, and also um, focusing on, again, like saving the environment, if you will, um, just because a lot of brands now, they mass produce a lot of um, pieces that often goes to waste, and like, we can have a whole conversation about the fast fashion industry. <laughs> so just really trying to combat all those um, harsh effects that it has on the environment, um, I think that that's what really makes my brands kind of stand out. Okay. Yeah. And earlier we spoke about your major being a finance major. Mm -hmm. Was that a calculated move for you? Initially it was. Again, like I, I didn't know that I wanted to really take off in the fashion industry until I got here. So uh, my plans initially were to really be invested in real estate as well as um, wealth management or financial advising. And then it kind of developed into like can't really change my major now because I realized this is like a junior that this is something that I'm really passionate about so now what I'm really trying to do uh, post-grad is merge my background in fashion and um, as well as my background in finance excuse me um, so I'm looking into getting into like working with a fashion company where I kind of do the finances for them on the back end while still being a freelance stylist and designer until that really takes off okay. yeah and what would you say your inspiration comes from when you're developing your pieces mm. 
it, it really just be off the dome. I ain't gonna mm -hmm. catch. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't really sketch it like, like I didn't have that exposure to like, like, or training as much. Like, again, beyond models of the Mecca, I haven't really been exposed to like, this is how you do this, or like, you know, uh, receive like really extensive training. So when I create pieces, it's just kind of like, it's my style for real. And it's just like, whatever comes to me, I just make it. Okay. Yeah. And I know that there's, talked about it um, just a second ago like fashion is a, a big world mm -hmm. but is there anything that you see lacking in the fashion world that you want to fill lacking um and the way I would say individuality like I think a lot of people go with whatever trend is like running yeah, like I feel like a lot of yeah people are dressing metallic green exactly right now, it's kind of scary. yeah <laughs> like the renaissance whole thing got mm -hmm. everybody doing metallics or like even in regular streetwear you have all of these brands that just kind of stamp a name or a logo or a slogan on a shirt and it's like $5, that looked like the same yeah. shit that was just out with the last brand last mm -hmm. year so I think that like a lot of people or designers at least aren't really true to what they like. They kind of just try to hop on whatever is trending at the moment and then they produce the same thing over. When you were first creating your like first few pieces, I'm not sure what they look like of course, but mm -hmm. like, was there a fear to actually go out and wear these pieces or just create them in general? Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think my clothing was as durable. Like. Yeah, just because, again, I didn't receive, like, how to really use all the stitches on a sewing machine or, you know, uh, how to really hem a um, piece of clothing or something like that. So by me not having that, I was just kind of like, well, they might be able to see, like, it's a little rip right there that I can't figure out how to really close or just something like that because initially it was like, okay, I have an idea of, um, I might not have a sewing machine right now, but I'm gonna glue that shit together and make That's it work. Right. So like stuff like that, I would say the fear probably came from like the way in which I produced the item and not having people see like the hiccups in it. But yeah. as far as like me being comfortable with the designs that I was making, that was never a problem. Mm. And do you think that takes like a certain, certain level of like boldness to... I think it does because it's, it's different like that shows the things that you design really embody your personality so to be like very outward and vocal well without even saying anything but you know making a statement in the things that you wear is like it does take a, a sense of uh, what was the word boldness. boldness yes and what pieces of your personality do you want your clothing to express um, I think I'm a very like happy-go-lucky like very goofy and smiley kind of person and I think that shows through a lot of the colors that I wear like I'm always like I don't know you can see me from a mile away like I might wear all black and then put on like a pink scarf or something like where the hell did that pink <laughs> scarf come from but it, I think it just helps me stand out a little more and um, really just I don't know be that open and welcoming kind of person with the playful colors that I kind of uh, wear. And what is your dream of like punkin creations? What, what, where do you want that to go? I've actually been thinking about that a lot. Um, between trying to just uh, be just a stylist or uh, have a clothing line or a brand or really sticking towards um, that, um, what is it called? Like that handmade aspect. Because I'm thinking like, well, if I'm big in the industry, can I sit there and really stitch yeah, yeah every yeah. piece that I make? So um, I've been kind of thinking about that recently, but I do still want to... Uh, I think I really do want to maintain that handmade aspect, like that really authentic uh, aspect to my brand, as well as uh, the reusing of previously used materials. Um, and just, I will say that I will want a style as well. Like I think that Punkin's Creations will not only be just um, a clothing line or clothing brand, if you will, but also just like anything I, anything I make, anything I produce, whether that be like designs or styles for um, whoever I decide to style. Now, who do you look to for like this fashion inspiration? Fashion inspiration, I really love Tiana Taylor. Mm -hmm. You have like Zendaya, you have um, like even Offset for real, for real, but he's really inspired by Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. um, so I think like there's a lot of the women who dress kind of minimal, if you will, but even the way that they wear certain things or, um, and Rihanna as well, I forgot to mention her. But um, when it comes down to like playing with proportions and layers and geometri ge excuse me, geometric shapes and the things that you wear, I think those things kind of stand out to me with those particular uh, people.